something you did differently tonight, at the end of the match, you were speaking to the boys on the pitch. What did you say to them after this one? I just spoke to them about the way the way they performed in terms of I feel like sometimes we dig ourselves a hole with some of the silly mistakes we make, but in terms of the performance going forward, um, like we really went for it tonight. We spoke at half time, two 0 down. We knew the stadium would go up if we if we if we scored. Big chances. We hit the underside of the crossbar. We hit the post. We hit the post again. Barrera Barrera bags one at the end. Really good finish. Um, we changed the shape with about 15 minutes to go and had four forwards on the pitch. Um, took a defender off and again just went for it because that, that's you know that's what we're about. That's what we want to do. I just spoke to him. I said, look. You can take that as a defeat and you can take it in a bad way or we can look at it as a positive and say we've come up against the champions in every single game and give them a proper game. You know, and On another night we win that game 3-2. I think it's a penalty at the end. Um, I spoke to the referee, Barrera's got scratch marks down his neck where he's been hauled down. I'm not sure he was, I'm not sure he was brave enough to give it to be honest, which is really disappointing. And then four minutes of added on time. It's, it's really frustrating with the amount of time that was being wasted in the game. When we was at their place, they had eight minutes of added on time when they were 1-0 down. So it's, it's one of them, I just, I just want our, our guys to have a fair shake because they're an honest bunch, a really, really honest bunch. Um, but we just said in, we said in the huddle, look, if we take it as a positive and we turn up Thursday and we win, we shrink the gap. Now, what we've got to do now, <clears throat> we're in a position where we've got to stay there just stay there and, and if Charlotte and Miami if they're not the real deal we've got to make sure we're there to pounce so we've almost got to be like predators now and just wait and do business our end um, tonight was a really tough fixture they haven't conceded a goal in a, a hell of a long time so we knew that was going to be difficult but I'm really happy with you know the threats that we had on the goal the amount of ball possession we had I thought we looked really exciting at times and We've just got to cut out the silly mistakes and make sure we switch on. We're a really young team, so that's, you know, you have to take the rough and the smooth with that because with a young team, you get extreme bravery, you get excitement, but you also get some lulls in concentration. Um, I feel like what, what, what we can learn from Tampa is they do the basics really well. Sometimes they just give you the problem and just stick it behind you and run after it. And, and if you're not up to it, then, then they, get, they get chances like they did tonight. What we've got to do is have a really good mix and a balance of playing really exciting football, but also making sure that at times, just to make sure we clear our lines correctly and stay switched on. You talked about silly mistakes you need to cut out. Would you describe... Both the goals. Both, both the goals. Both the goals. are. It's not us. <clears throat> There's a minute left. If we go in 1-0 down at half-time after saving a penalty, I fancy us to go and win the game. Because I think, you know, we score a goal. one nils, you know, one nils. It's doable. There's a minute to go. One of their players is saying, just stick it in the corner. So he's, he's intelligent, you know, his game intelligence is there, that's experience. And we're not switched on and they put a ball behind, we don't win first contact, they're in, they score. Goalkeeper comes off his line in no man's land. It's, it's one we can't concede at this level and we've got to cut it out. Um, and, the, you know, there's, there's times where I'll come out here in front of you and I'll say I'll take full responsibility for all of it and I'll do 90% of the time. But there the players have got to go, do you know what, that was my bad and I've got to take that one because that, that's basic. You know, clear your lines, head the ball, get us in at half time. We can do what we do at half time and the players have been unbelievable in carrying out game plans in the second half, like they was at the end there. Um, but we've just got to do the basics better and cut those mistakes out. You know, at this point we're, we're two thirds of the way into the season, so, so what's, what's got to, got to change, I mean, more than that probably, what's got to change to get those mistakes cut out? What, what has to be different? It, it's now? just, it's literally concentration. It's literally that, and you've got to make sure that you're always concentrating in a game of football. Like you can't switch off. You've got to make sure you're engaged. Where's my man? Where's the ball? Where's his man? Where's his marker? What could he do? You've almost got to be, when you're defending, you've got to be pessimistic. You've got to be a pessimist. When you're attacking, you're an optimist. So just flip it like that. Um, but we've got to be better. We've got to be better. It's a young team. It's a young project. So certain things I'll accept. That defending, I will not accept. I will not accept that. And, and you know, the boys have got to own that, and we've got to be better in that department.